Morning Creeper Season 2 The Rebirth My Let's Play Series. I'm your host, Golden Minimouth 06. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome new, and welcome old. Welcome. So, in the last episode, if you guys didn't catch it, we just, uh, I just probably uploaded it to the channel. Uh, I just actually not uploaded it. I just finished it editing it, and I'll be uploading it in a minute. And it has to do with all these slimes. No, I just edited it, and I just got done recording it. So these are not from the slime trunk at all. These are just some of the equivalent things I have acquired. We have a slime trunk out over there that where this villager uh, a farm for carrots and potatoes. I just jumped over that ladder. I'm amazing. Whee! is and I actually cleared out all the slime from it which is where some of most of the slime comes from but a lot of it actually comes from some of that slime farm over there are double quad chunk slime farm so we have eight total slime chunks we're actually using to farm the slime and these are were are actually going to be used in a future episode where we go drain our witch farm lake and then begin more work over there we're not going to do that today because I do not believe I have enough slime uh, all these sugar boxes are full, and this is about 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, almost 11. We're really close. Sorry about all the piston noise. That's my my pumpkin and melon farm going off. I don't believe we have enough yet, so we're not going to go do that until I absolutely know for sure that I have enough slime blocks to fill out in that entire lake, because I do not want to, actually, I need to go back in here, want to have to go... AFK. I'll be AFKing for a while. We're actually going to AFK. I'm going to AFK overnight and probably fill up a whole chest of shulker boxes. Probably a lot more. I need to really, before I do that, I need to actually install an uh, item destruction system to prevent uh, badness from happening. Uh, these are a lot of shulker boxes from actually the mining area that we're just putting in our bulk storage area. And we have a surprising lack of cactus, but that's not what we're going to be working on in today's episode. But we are hopefully going to be getting a lot more as we are over in this area, which is important for what I actually want to be doing in this episode. Uh, this happens sometimes. I don't understand why this happens. That is really weird. Uh, that happens. I don't know. Why. And today we're actually going to be doing something I mentioned in the last episode, if you guys can't remember. So let's just go over here and jump, jump over here, jump, jump, go over here, go right over here, and we can just do this. Right over here we have some little land you might notice that it's just been flattened a little bit. I This is where I got some of the sand for the glass and concrete for the slime chunks and stained them lime and stained them lime. And that's why the cactus is gone too, because we need a lot of lime. And we're also running out of bones. We're running out of a lot of things. So we are actually flattening this desert because we're going to be making a, a circle. Not just any kind of circle. We're going to be making a sand pit. The void. The, the I can't remember what I was going to call this. But we're going to be making a very interesting little thing. It's going to be some circles that just concave inward. And it's going to be like a sand, like a quicksand, a whirlpool quicksand kind of a thing. I think it's going to look really neat. And right now we're just clearing out, I'm going to be clearing out this area. I actually need to go get my beacon uh, recollected from the slime chunk right now. I don't have enough rockets to actually make it there and back. But we no, we can make it. So... I'm just going to go over there, because it's over here. It's not too quick. We can actually get back to the nether, but we're not going to... No, we have the other one. Uh, let's just go down here. And there's some trees that we need to finish cutting down. So this is what it looks like. Very nice, very nice indeed. Ow, hit my head. And I need to get my beacon, which is up on the top roof. And there they are. Those are really cool looking. So I'm going to grab my beacon. And I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering right here and taking up video time. And we're just going to go on and get this episode a rolling and get it done. Uh, there's my beacon. We just need some iron blocks. We just need to get rid of it. Actually, we don't probably don't need this. But anyways, I'm just going to do it because I can. And I will see you guys back here uh, when 
I get some of this done because we're actually going to be doing something cool today. We're going to be doing... Probably, we're going to not be doing a time lapse right now. Uh, after I get all the sand away, then we'll be doing a time lapse once I start to build the thing I want to build. So that's when the time lapse will start. But right now I'm just going to pretty up this desert. And an undisclosed amount of time later, we have cleared the flat desert, or made it at least flat, and we have made our special so far. So this is a hundred diameter circle. Uh, good spot. It's a very good spot. All that desert is flattened out. Uh, I'm not going to flat out that part because, eh, I don't want to do it. If I need any more sand, I will do it, but I don't. So here's the plan, what we're going to be doing. So this is going to be, I still don't know the name. I still haven't looked it up. It's going to be a pit void, a sand pit void. And what I'm planning on doing, uh, let me get some sand. So all the sand we're collecting, we're going to be needing because of this whole thing. The walls and everything like that, visible walls are going to be made of sand. So the plan is we're going to go out a couple blocks. So this is just a really build that I wanted to do. Uh, a while ago, very long time ago, maybe a year or two, I saw this picture on a Reddit Minecraft post of just like builds, that's such a steep cliff, and it was just this big old pit uh, that was in the sand and it was like circular and it would go step down, step down, step down, and it like dived down. It was very, very cool. Like, um, what's the word? Like a wormhole or a black hole demonstration for like physics, if anyone knows what that is. I might put a picture up on the screen that can show you what I mean. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to get this uh, kind of right. Uh, I might try and see if we can find a program out there that does this kind of a thing. Uh, it plots does we weirder things but i don't know if it can do something like this but if it could that would be kind of cool i'm gonna actually check that out plots is a cool little for those that don't know circle generator that can generate spheres and things like that uh so what we're going to be doing is walking out a pretty much we're going to go an even number because it's an even number circle and we're going to go out four so this is at radius 100 so this would be at minus four this would be at 96 then we're going to do a 96 diameter circle. Then we're going to make another 95. Then we're going to go out another 6, make a 92. And we're going to keep going down until we reach about like a 50 diameter circle. Once we get like into the middle where it's almost 50. And once we get there, we're just going to dig a straight down into the earth. And it's going to be like a void. And I just wanted to do this because I think it's cool. So... I'm going to get started on it, and we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse right now to show it off. We're going to be doing a couple more things after the time lapse. The big dig is going to happen right now. Uh, I'm probably going to go into it before we dig straight down, and then once we get to the part of the 50 diameter circle, I'll, I'll bring it back to you guys, talk about how it looks, see if I want to make any changes. And if I do, we'll stop there. Uh, I'll do the changes, and then we'll begin the next time lapse where we dig straight down to bedrock from the middle, and once, and then we'll do some other things to it to make it look even cooler. So let's get on starting.
don't know when the last time I recorded was. Actually, I do. It was a week ago, and that is so awkward. Never understood why that happened. Well, anyway, so we have some progress for you. I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. Uh, that was kind of a long time lapse, kind of not, in a sense. Because uh, of the time lapse, I do have to fix some up. Observer blocks and things like that a little later on because that's how Forge does it and we're not in Forge right now But I was gonna decided to cut it a little bit short on that part of the time-lapse to come back and talk a little bit So one thing I realized that I messed completely up on and you might have seen it is These parts I have actually not run right on it. I was counting differently uh, you need to count down by two to figure out the radius of the this part right here, depending on how far you go out. If you go out one, it's this would be, since this is 100, this would be 98, because there's one over there as well that you have to take into account too. So it was 98, 96, 94, and 92. So this was the radius of 92. So... All you have to do is, what I didn't realize is, you have to take into account the other side, not just this side. So I messed up on there. And that's what we, not what we, what I figured out. So that's why the time lapse is kind of weird. Then at the end you saw me doing a little bit of this, probably. Uh, down here, uh, once we get down to here, so all this land above us is going to get cleared out. Uh, I need to go actually repair all my pickaxes, because this is a lot of pickaxe. I need to make actually a lot more, because sometimes I do really big digs, and I need to constantly go get, uh, go repair and get my uh, pickaxes, as you can see, they're both dead. I made a second silk touch one a long time ago, I don't think I ever pointed that out, but I need another one. <laughs> I need more. It's just like how the shovels, because I was started doing a lot of shovel things for multiple shovels if I was ever to go sand mining or giant dirt mining and such. So, basically, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six levels of about going down four blocks wide for a, like, drop-off area. We're going to be going down to two. We're going to see how this actually looks which is going to be the main problem. Depending on how it looks, we might not do it like that. Uh, and it won't be too difficult to dig up because it's just sand. So I'm not worried about if it doesn't look good, uh, having to rebuild it and such. But we'll be time-lapsing that portion, and I will be making sure it looks good. And then I will probably, if, if it doesn't, I'll just tear it up and things like that. But anyway, so what we're... Pro it's probably not gonna be looking too good because I kind of want it to go down down and then it like curves inward kind of and starts heading straight down so we might cut this a bit short and what I mean by that is we'll probably make it go down by ones we'll go a few I'll have to think about that actually I might do that just because I think it would look curler because I want it to look like it's a black hole so I'll probably put something on screen really quick, but it will look like it curves inward kind of and I kind of want that and this is not really the effect This is just looking like it goes uh, down a little ways And I think to get that curving in effect We're gonna need to go down by ones and make it really steep if you know what I mean so like right here at this part you would go down to and then it would be one, 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 one. And every time you go down one, it would go down uh, two and high. So, actually, uh, this is going to take a little while. So, let me just show you what I mean by that really quick. Three, two, one. That looks much better. And that's pretty much what I think my envision for this build is. It looks really good, so it just goes, 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 and then it's a steep, steep drop off. And then, uh, this is a 30 width circle. I did it on this side too to make sure that it was even. This is a 30 diameter circle, which means that this, this, uh, from 30 to 30 to 30, this is just gonna be a big hole in the center that goes straight down into the oblivion. 
which will be really fun. So that's what it looks like. I really like it. I think this is what we're going to do. It goes, oh, it just is a nice incline, incline, gets a little steeper, and then it drops off pretty much. So that's what I'm going for, which is pretty good. I need to really repair this. I kind of broke it a little bit more doing this. Of course I did. But that's all we're going to be doing for now. But right next, I'm going to go really quick repair my pickaxes. And we're going to begin that time lapse once again and get the rest of this done. So it should be really good. Hopefully we won't have to repair anymore because once we get that done, it's just a small... The circle radius gets smaller and smaller and smaller, which also means less repairing. So let me go repair my stuff. It looks pretty cool. The only problem is uh, that this did not go as I foresaw it actually going. And you may notice what I mean by that is this is not a circle at the bottom, which is what it was supposed to be. So what I found out was once I got down to a certain layer, it was the layers when you started to get onto the ones. It started to not work because it went into the wall and it wouldn't have looked like a circle which would have been a really big problem which sucks in all honesty it really does suck so we have this weird dime gong diamondagal diamond shape thingy at the bottom and from up here i kind of don't know if i like it or not I did this a couple times and I thought I was okay with it. What I might do, I might do is uh, uh, change it just a little bit. Oh, I forget these are, are these like three? No, they're two. Uh, I might get rid of these sides, like these pointing out sides, because that kind of makes it protrude a little bit and makes it just look pretty bad, I would say. Get on. Ah! There we go. It looks doesn't look good. I think, and I think it would look much better if we cut off a little bit of the sand part, the the corners. So like, right those corners, those little corners, and just have it be like hugging the wall. If you know what I mean. So like right there, you could put you could put sand right there to connect those two sides up. But I didn't because it just would make this go smaller and smaller and smaller. Hi, Mr. Endermite. So I think I'm going to try and do that maybe like right over here. Just like on the first first layer. Maybe just right over here really quick and just to see how it compares. And then I'll do the rest. So let me do that really quick and see what I think. And I like how it like, whee, and it dips down. That's actually cool. I didn't notice that. I would have to say, man, don't get dark on me now, that 
this looks so much better with the angles cut off. I think that looks much better than, let's just run over here. It's getting really night time. It's getting dark night. Then that, that just did that, that it looks so bad. This, because we could do that. Why did that seem so lopsided on this side? I don't know. This looks much better. I have a pickaxe in my head. Oh my god. This looks more rounded. You would have to agree. It just looks just a bit more rounded than di diamond shape. Uh, oh, what did I see over there? I see, thought I saw something that I missed. Hmm. No, okay. Yeah, definitely looks much better. And there's the shape. So it looks much better, much better than that. This side looks so much better. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna go do that, and we're gonna go do that because I'm not gonna sit through doing that with you guys because that would be boring. So I'm gonna really do that really quick. But before we're gonna talk about what. Well, I'm gonna talk about. I should stop saying we're. It's very difficult. But I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do really in the next stage once this looks much like much like a rounder shape if you know what I mean what I'm gonna do is we're gonna dig all the way down to bedrock I do think that's the plan well I hope it's the plan I made the plan we're gonna dig all the way down to bedrock and we'll do a time lapse of that and then we are gonna I'm gonna I need to stop saying where I'm gonna try and see what by getting glass we're gonna make this like a dark place that's what I'm gonna say it's gonna be like a pit and it's gonna be a pitch black pit using the black concrete because the black concrete is very very black uh, we're probably gonna use the powder too to make it almost look just transition a little bit better from the sand to a little bit more darker I would say and then it will just be a nice pitch black thing. We'll put some glass, and the glass will be be making layers of glass. If anyone knows what the fog effect is, the fog effect is where you'll put uh, glass right here, and then two layers up, you'll put more, more glass, and it eventually, and you leave air in between, and it'll eventually turn into a nice old air, look like some fog. Might not work too well with the black, but we're going to kind of try and see. I do know YouTube processing from what I've seen on other people say it doesn't really work out too well. But this is in the overworld. It makes it hard to see, but we're in the overworld and hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I need to continue digging. So let's do that and I will time lapse that part. And that will be the, probably the last time lapse. Probably not, because it's all up. That's good. Time lapse is finished, and the pit looks fabulous. Look at that dark void. I don't know why the world is not generating in too well. That's normal, I think. 12 is really the view distance I normally have it at, but I don't know why it's not rendering in too well. I think that worked, but it looks really good, in my opinion. So I did put in the black, while digging out the hole or after I digged it out in that same time lapse uh, I wanted to make sure I could shorten the video a little bit so I didn't want to add another clip in after another time lapse of me talking so I just decided to do it right now and talk about it it looks good it looks there is a slight blue tint to it the black concrete which is kind of unfortunate so it's not like absolutely black but like if you looked at it from a certain angle it looks really really black which is really nice 
but I just finished repairing some of my tools. Uh, uh, and, dang it, I don't know why I did that, because now I have to break all this without haste. That sucks. Oh well. And now I've put in some sand to smell up into some glass and turn into some black glass because we have enough ink from killing a lot of squid because I really like killing squid for some weird reason. I have no really understanding why, but I just do because I like to get their heads, which sounds kind of weird in all honesty. But we have I am smoking it up and it should be done right now, so I'm probably going to hop back onto the replay mod and just place all the glass down and finish this project up while also at the same time hoping to get all the items put into the storage system. I'll probably do that first because the replay mod does affect the observer blocks. Well, Forge does. I don't know if they fixed that issue in Forge, which I hope they have because it's kind of really annoying on a single player world. But in Forge, you can't open chests with stairs on top because that's a thing so maybe they won't ever fix it because they're just stingy and they're like deal with it but I hope they do fix it because it will be very helpful to have a fix for it when I want to do more time lapses in the future without breaking all my redstone that uses observer blocks so enough of my rambling I'm gonna get the glass and we're gonna do the last time lapse of today's episode and then end off our episode right there would you look at that? That looks like I could just dive right into it and not get hurt. It's so nice and black. Wow, it's amazing. So I got it done. I got it done, guys. I actually didn't record a time lapse. I decided not to because it would just have taken a little bit too much time to actually do it. And I didn't want to mess up. I forgot we had observer blocks in our storage system. And that kind of messed up our storage system. And that was kind of a pain, but I might actually need to redo this top part because it is three layers instead of two And it's really kind of hard to tell the fog really if we get down here Hopefully you guys can kind of see it at a glance. It looks very foggy and I think we're gonna just I'm just gonna uh, Destroy all this glass uh, another time and uh, Leave this layer right here remove this top layer and leave this layer so we have just two layers of, one layer of black right here, and we don't have to worry about it, because it, uh, I don't think it looks too good, and I don't really want to do, make any more glass and black glass and stuff like that to do it, but yeah. And it looks really good, I really enjoy it, and I'm happy about it. But that is all we got time for today, that's all I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to outro off just saying a little thing. Sorry these episodes, this episode has come out very late. I've been in school and too busy to actually record, haven't had enough time, and finally got some time around today to actually finish this. I've actually finished this a while ago, and I've been planning on what we're going to be doing in the next episode already. I already have a plan for that, which is very nice and good. So I'm going to just be editing it, and hopefully it gets out to you guys sometime soon. Maybe today, if not, when I finish recording this. If not, I don't know. Anyways, so thanks for all for watching, guys. So, thank you for listening to my little rant at the end. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, that would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.